Are you thinking about moving to Sunset Harbor in Miami Beach? That's right, guys, welcome back. Today we're in my favorite neighborhood of Sunset Harbor. We're gonna walk around the neighborhood and show you a pretty cool lofted unit in the lofts of South Beach. Let's go check it out. Have you ever been here when it was Purdy Lounge? Of course. Yeah, right? It's like the first spot when I moved to South Beach like seven years ago. I've lived here my whole life, but Sunset Harbor, I feel like only became an area that you could like go to in the last 10 years. Got your berries, cult favorite. Then you have, what's, it's not Green Monkey anymore. You have that other yoga studio. There's so many of them, I lose track. Sweat, Moda like, Yoga. Moda, yeah. Um, Sweat 45, I think, if it's still here. Sweat 440. 440, right. yeah. And then all the healthy eats places, you've got Dr. Smooth, you've got Delicious Raw, Icebox, oh, Sweet Icebox. Green. Sweet green is all the praise. Yes. And then uh, Pub Belly Sushi. Right, happy how hour. could I forget? Yeah. And then you've got Bay Club for, for karaoke Thursday nights. Tell me a little bit more about the history of Sunset. Like, as you've seen the development come up. Right, so it seemed like really nothing was here. And then all of a sudden it happened overnight. They built this beautiful commercial space right here in the middle where all of those fast casual places we were just talking about are. They're called the Sunset Harbor Shops. There's a parking garage, retail, office space. And then it seemed like after they built this retail space, all of the residential stuff sort of came around it with these townhouses here, the condo here. And then everybody started flocking to this area. It's incredible. Yeah. This is sort of our little our little slice of Los Angeles in the sense that it feels very fitness forward. Mm -hmm. Everybody's always walking around in their workout clothes. Looks like they could be going to the beach or to brunch or to exercise. Just a very healthy lifestyle over here. Yeah, and what I like is that, you know, you do have your condominiums, but then you also have single family as you pass through, right, on the islands? That's true. You have Sunset Islands 3 and 4, which are closest to Sunset Harbor, and then 1 and 2 a little bit further down on Alton. And yeah, those are some of the most expensive, beautiful homes in the city. It also feels like you're close enough to the action, but not necessarily right in it, because we are just two blocks from Lincoln Road. We are just five blocks from Flamingo Park and the rest of South Beach which can get a little bit hectic, but here it just feels like you're secluded. That's right. My favorite Publix on the beat, tons <laughs> of parking, two levels of parking, and this is like my go-to. I don't go to the one on Dade because the parking lot kind of gets crowded. But... Right, and from a neighborhood standpoint, you never need to leave this three block radius. You'll have your favorite coffee shop, maybe your workplace, your office, your gym, and certainly your grocery store. Shall we walk by Lucali? Yes. Another staple. Great pizza. Another cool Spanish spot called Barcelonetta. It's been here forever. So if somebody's looking to relocate to Sunset Harbor and you know they're they're looking at a one bedroom, a two bedroom, you know, what what kind of price point can they expect do you think to get into at? Right, so Sunset Harbor is certainly an expensive area to live in. I would say if you're renting a one bedroom, if you wanted to get yourself a solid unit, you'd be in the thirty five hundred to four thousand, uh, even forty five hundred price range. And then if you're buying a one bed, I think you can bet on probably paying close to 800 or 900 a foot. So if it's in a thousand square foot unit, that my bedroom could be as much as a million dollars or right around 800K yeah. for sure. And the buildings that you could rent in are the Sunset Harbor Towers, the North and South Tower, the Lofts of South Beach, Bella Isla is a rental community that's about to open in Belle Isle and Palau also offers rentals. Tequitzlan, Mexican food, Nayara, 
Japanese. Yeah, this is a cool for sale. And it's always busy. Like, there's always people, there's always people walking around. around. That's right. Always people eating. Out always about. people on their laptops. Yeah, it's a great hidden spot, right? Exactly. Fresh market, too. So, Publix, fresh market. There's still an Office Depot on the corner, which is pretty <laughs> yeah. shocking. Another parking garage, I know. So, you really have two nice parking garages. And uh, there's oh. a local car wash, there's a window tinting place, and there's a real estate brokerage, another office building here on the corner. Yeah, and sushi garage, forgot about that spot too. And you'll notice not a lot of high rises in this area. Everything is pretty mid rise construction. The retail buildings, the office buildings are two, three stories. everything sure do yeah i remember this was like burger and beer joint in the corner yes used to love that back place back in the day paddleboard rentals jet ski rentals stiltsville on the corner there yeah dr smooth i probably come here more often than i should yeah, right green protein smoothie man right And then marina, public marina, right? Exactly. So you can launch your boat off here. Sunset Harbor Marina. Kayaks. Sail. That's right, sail, jet ski. Yeah, we just did a big circle sort of around the neighborhood. Yeah, that's the loop. That's the loop. So if you're thinking about moving to Sunset Harbor, make sure you contact us. I'm Andrew Holtz at Holtz Homes on Instagram, and I'm with the Nancy Batsler team at Compass. Joe Bizaha, Joe Sells Miami on Instagram. Look forward to chatting with you soon. Thanks so much. See you guys in the next video.